Yo, good morning gamers, and today we're going to play a game which is called Tomato Clinic Sereno at part 2. So we just know that these people in the clinic are actually vampires, and we need to know more, I guess, a lot about them. So we didn't know what to sign up for. It's basically for like some, some extra curricular activity stuff that we need to like sign in. But yeah, here we are, I guess. We're going to load now, and here we are. No, oh, yeah. Alright, so this is the part right. So we got like the dummy ones where we just done it, right? like the one we need to like wear the dummy in order to like protect themselves from sun rays or like sunburns because vampires don't like sunburns or like the sun, right? Because they got sunburns a lot. Their, their skin is way too sensitive. But yeah, here we go. We're going to get in anyways. Very nice. And a quiz also in the quiz. Yakuda walks out of the room taking the dummy with him. Uh, yes. I guess I'll do what Yakuda said. Oh. The Ren gets any time to wait. Mary shows up again. How was the activity? Hey, <laughs> Totomate. Oh, what? Ah, Sumimasen. How did you like the first activity? You know, the Bamper sunscreen routine. Oh, that. It was really interesting. Oh, I'm really glad. It took a lot of time cutting the whiteboard to the right size. Ah. Uh, you cut it yourself? Yep. We're pretty short on fun, so most of the stuff here is DIY. Oh, so good. So good, so good. Uh, thanks, we try our best. Sorry, I got a bit off topic. Okay, I'm actually here because it's time. Oh, for a requis. Oh, a requis? A chance for you to take our vampire quiz again. I think it should be pretty easy since you already know the answers now. I'll try my best. You're saying you shift, just let me know when you're done. Okay, so we're going to again another quiz. Mary leaves friend to love the quiz. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, the way the vampires get was with their nutrition. So we done this one, the answer is blood, right? Blood. And then they get sunburns. And then the next is none of the above. Then the last is beds. Where the vampires sleep at beds as well. And nothing. This is a stupid question? Right? Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Mary, I finished the quest. As soon as Ren calls out, Mary appears. That was fast. Let me see. Question 1 is correct. Vampires me. Okay. Okay, we're done. And then the next one. Yes. The other 5 done. Uh, we'd rather you okay, we'd rather you just try to make friends with us. Let's take a look at question 4. Okay, we're done. Nice. Vampires need to sleep, and when they do, they sleep in beds, not coffins. No, no, for the last question. Hey! Five out of five. Next. Nice. Vampires can really turn into anything. No bats, no mints. Though it'd be interesting if we could. What if they didn't answer it correct all correctly? Like what the hell? Most does its total score up. Five out of five. Perfect. So go to soup for that to get a price. A uh, price? Yep. Here. Oh. A tomato pin, hey! Nice, uh, sugoi. Sugoi, yes, uh, a tomato pin with this, you're part of the tomato club. Oh, what a nice club, dude. Ah, uh, Nandeska. A club of vampires and friends, you're the third member. I hope you'll take your vampire knowledge and share it with your friends too. Oh, I will, dude, I will. I'll try, and take you for the pin. Cool, I think Gagaro should be back soon anyway, so I'll leave you two to it. Hey, sugoi. Mary walks out through one of the doors. Oh, she actually walked out normally this time. I guess I'll just wait for Gagoda to come back. We can take a little look around here in the meantime. They have some interesting magazines. I've never seen most of these before. Vampire Weekly, Hangout Post, Why Poor Nights. So basically, they are not for vampires. Gagoda walks in and notices Ren looking at the magazines. Uh, you can you can take a look at them if you want. You can take a look at them if you want. Uh, no, 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 sorry, I was just... Like I said, feel free to take a look at them. They're there for visitors to look at after all. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit later. Whatever, do what you want. I have the next activity ready when you are, though. I am ready, that is. Uh, what's the next activity? A backstage tour of sorts. I'm going to show you the process we go through before a blood donation. Uh, oh, okay. 
You're going to be looking a lot and stuff. Are you going to be okay with this? Uh, yes, I will. Yeah, no problem. No problem. We're going to do this anyway. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, are you sure? I will. I was just caught off guard. Sorry, I really haven't done anything like this before. Uh, yeah, I can get up. Truly nothing to be nervous about, though. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you. Oh, so we got the Pachi, Pachi. So, Gagaru takes the rent to a launch area. This is where the blood donations happen. Oh, it doesn't look very clinical. Oh, uh, yeah, Mary wanted all the rooms here to look as inviting as possible. To make sure people could feel comfortable. We visited a bunch of the clinics in other areas before deciding on the look for Tomato Clinic. Oh, it definitely makes me feel relaxed at least. True, true, true. Guess it was for the work. I guess it was for the work you put into it then. Uh, what? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Anyway, let me explain the process. How much do you know about blood donation? Uh, not very much, honestly. I've only ever had blood tests, and that's about it. Uh, and that's about it. Okay, then I'll start at the beginning. I keep switching the characters. Rest up just to clear any possible misunderstandings. Both Mary and I are certified to draw blood. While vampires working at donation clinics are required to be certified for both the regular human method and the vampire assistant method. Oh, a regular human method probably means using a needle, but what's the vampire assistant method? I'm guessing you don't know much about vampire punks, right? No, so me mustn't it. Well, you probably heard stupid stories about people getting pleasure from vampire bites. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 shitteru, shitteru. That's not how it works. Oh, <laughs> Aww. Our pangs, our pangs have substance reach a natural and an aesthetic with a calming effect. They're also very sharp and pointy, so the wound left behind is very small. At blood donation clinics, the process is simple. Bite and draw. Uh-huh. For the bite, they create a very small wound. Then we use a needle to draw out the blood. Oh, but why not? Just yeah, use a needle in the first place. Unfortunately, blood loses its nourishing qualities very quickly after leaving the body. That is, unless it is first stabilized by the substance in our pangs. Oh, well, it'd be easier to just bite and suck, uh, suck blood from the source. We can expect a human to always be available when a vampire gets hungry. That's where blood donation clinics come in. Okay. We draw blood and distribute it to vampires who need it. Oh, like the vampire food bank. Uh, something like that, yeah. Everything makes sense so far? I think so. If we actually draw the blood though, we do a health check to make sure everything is okay. Uh, what kind of issues could be there be? Could there be? For example, maybe the person's blood is infected with something and they don't know. Oh. They may have recently taken medication that prevent them from donating. They might just be feeling sick, and donating blood could make them feel worse. Huh. What if they drink the blood that has HIV? What the hell? <laughs> Once we've concluded that everything is okay, then we start the blood donating process. The humans get comfortable on the couch, and the vampire takes the arm. Arm, not neck. While it's true that it's easier to drink blood from the neck, since we're drawing the blood out through needles, it's easier to do it through the arm. Like a regular blood donation. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. One thing we make sure, as very clear too, is that it's okay to stop at any time. We always want to make sure both the human and the vampire are comfortable with everything. So if the human feels uncomfortable, we call it up. Very nice. Time for it. Same for it, the vampire feels uncomfortable. Maybe you start feeling dizzy during the donation. Or you just change your mind. You don't need a reason if someone says stop, everything stops. Maybe give you a button you can press just in case you're anxious about saying it aloud. Wow, you're really prepared. Well, we're asking people to give their blood to us. We want to make sure we have the complete concept. Anyway, that's the end of the presentation. 
We believe you got a better idea of our blood donation process now. I think I do. Thank you. Wait, I'm going to go back to the cafe area to prepare for the last activity. Could you wait here until I'm done? I've uh, got it. Got it, got it. Cool. That could have leaps the launch area. Uh, the blood donation process is a lot more complicated than I expected. I guess I should just wait here now though until Mary just pops up everywhere. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa, that's it. Mary slides into the room. What? There isn't even a door on that side of the room. <laughs> Where on earth did you come from? Haha, that's a secret. Technically, this time is scheduled for a quiz, but it's already past the crystal. Do you want me to ask me some questions? Okay. So questions. Okay, so we can ask questions. How common are vampires? The first one. How common are vampires compared to humans? It really depends, honestly. Vampires tend to live in small communities. Lately though, you have more vampires like Kagoro and me moving to big cities and such. Now that humans know a bit more about vampires, it's easy for us to live among humans. Really, I live here my whole life, but I don't think I've seen more than a couple of vampires. I mean, you can really tell we're vampires at first glance, right? Uh, if you're not looking too closely, we really just look like pale-skinned humans. Oh, that's true. We might actually know a couple of vampires without knowing it. I wonder if I do. Any other questions? Can people be turned into vampires? Yeah. Um, can people be turned into vampires? Uh, no, that's absolutely not possible. Sorry, I knew that already. That's what it says in the book I've written for. It's just, people still say that we can't, right? Being a vampire isn't a disease, it's not contagious. You can infect anyone with it. It's just one of those unfortunate myths that spread. Uh, sorry for bringing it up. Don't apologize. I'll happily answer any questions like this if it means I can clear things up. True. Any more questions? Not right now. I'm okay for now, I think. Okay then. In that case, that's everything for me. Hagrid will let you know when he's ready, so just stay here. Mary disappears again, though in a different direction this time. I wonder if there are secret passageways in this place. Nah, that'd be a bit much. I wonder how much longer Gakuro will be though. Us upon Q, Gakuro comes in. I ran, I'm done setting up. Let's go back to the cafe area. Gakuro leaves without waiting for a reply. I guess I should follow him. Sugoi Disney! Ooh, ooh, this one's different. Uh, Rens go over to the cafe area, but it looks completely different. I like the sound of It's kind of a comfy dude. Like itself. The game itself is kind of comfy. It's very nice. The room is dim and the only source of light is the candle on the table. Wait, what? It didn't look like this before. I mean, I said I was prepping, right? Ah, uh, what is this for? An old vampire tradition. A blood tasting. Blood, uh, I want she. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not actually going to make you drink blood. We're doing a human-friendly version with tomato juice. Oh. Oh, that's why the tomato clinic. I mean, you could actually use strawberry and such, like, sample. But, I mean, tomato is really good as well. Yeah, because tomato is kind of bit... Uh, biscuits? Is that the right term? Biscuits? Or than strawberry, if you could create a strawberry juice, then what? It's like humans have holidays, right? Yes? Um, for these holidays, you usually gather people together, right? Yeah, for family dinners and such. Yeah, family for dinners and such. Well, vampires on it, so they only drink. Alright. So what they usually do instead is have a blood tasting together. Human share food, vampires share blood. Food's a big part of human culture, right? I guess? Blood pulls the same rule in vampire culture. But how does that... I'll explain, but first... I want to check that you're okay with doing this. We're not using real blood, but the idea is that we're going to pretend we are. 
Of course, even when we use actual blood, it's always blood that's wrong with concept. But if you don't want to do this activity, you don't have to. Let's try! I want to try! No problem, dude. That's why we're in this freaking, uh, community clinic. Is to know more about them first. It was okay, I want to try. To be honest, I do I, I do feel a bit nervous. No, I don't think. I don't think I've ever done anything like a blood tasting before. I'd still like to try though, it's okay. I came here to learn more about vampires after all. If you let me participate in a bit of your culture, I'd be really happy. Sounds like we're okay then. Now, let me explain how blood tasting works. There are actually many different kinds with different steps. The one we're doing today is for when one vampire invites another to their household. It means to show hospitality as well as trust. Oh, sort of like serving drinks to guests at a party? Well, it's usually a bit more formal than that. There'll be a vessel filled with blood. In this case, tomato juice. The vampire who is hosting, in this case, me, pours a glass for the guest. That would be me. Yeah, it's polite to serve the guest first. Next, the guests will return the paper and pour a glass for the host. The point is to show that they are honored to be a guest. Then, both parties will take a sip, but just a small one. Oh, okay. Next, the vampire is cooling their glasses together. Huh, they make a toast after they've already drunk? Oh, the idea is that since they've already taken a sip, part of their soap is left on the glass. Oh. And by clinking the glasses together, they're shaking, they're sharing the part of their soap with the other party. Nice soup. Oh. A blood tasting is usually done when somebody invites somebody over for the first time. It's a way of saying, I trust you in my way home. In my home. Part of trusting somebody is entrusting them with yourself. So that's what a blood tasting is meant to show. Eh, That's really interesting. Finally, both vampires drink until their glass is empty, without stopping. Again, this is meant to show trust. Not emptying the glass would show hesitation to accept the other vampire's offer of trust. Wow, there's a lot of thought put into all the actions, huh? To be honest, I think most vampires don't really think that much about it. Oh, excuse me. We just do blood tasting this way because that's how they've always been done. That sum up the sums up the tests, the steps though, the test. So, are you ready to try? I think so. Okay, let's sit at the table then. I'll pour you a glass. No, oh, you okay. okay, do you remember what to do next? Uh. Okay, pour from the battle. So, take a sip from your glass. Am I right? Wait, oh, oh. Wait, don't drink yet. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to throw me a glass first. I forgot that one. Okay, do you remember what to do next? Okay. So, I pour the dude. Drink until your glass is empty. Take a sip from your glass. Yeah, I guess this one's the right. Do you right? Right. We each take a sip from the glass. Next, what do we do? Okay. Drink from the bottle. <laughs> We can do a clean glasses with Jack with a right. Yep, we clean glasses glasses uh, glasses as a sign of trust. Now what do we do last? Drink until your glass is empty. Drink from the bottle. <laughs> because right, we down we down the rest of our glass. Okay, so first is the pour. Okay, so at least three out of four to run right. And that's it. A bumper blood tasting. What do you think? Thank you for doing this with me. I'm really glad I had the chance to experience it. Well, there were a few mistakes here and there, but it was pretty close to how a blood tasting usually goes. Hopefully that was educational as some we are moved over another. Anyway, that's the last activity, which means this is the end of the tour. Oh, that was quick. Did you head to reception? Mary should be waiting for you there. Okay, how about you, Gagato? I'm just going to clean this up first. Got it, see you later. I'll see you later. Jenny Jenny. Ren heads back to the reception area. Huh, Mari isn't here yet. And they're gonna go pop shop. Oh, Mari walks into the, into the room. Uh, hi Ren. 
Hi, hi, Mari. I came back here since the tour is over. Right, and thank you for taking part in our tour. You should have seen this as well when signing up, but at the end, we have an optional blood donation. Oh, right, I remember seeing that. Of course, it's only if you want to. You also have to pass our health check first. Today, both Takoto and I are available for blood donations. Just let me know if you'd like to donate. And if you would, who would. Who would and if you would, who would you, who, who you'd like to draw your blood? Oh, I'd like you to draw my blood. Sorry, I don't want to donate. Um, I mean, I'd like you to draw my blood. I'd like you to draw my blood. Let's try that one. If it's okay, could I ask you to draw my blood? It'd be my pleasure. Let me take you to the lounge and we can get started. Oh! Wait, just wait. Okay, so we can do those. Okay, so let's have Mary this time. Mary takes friends to the lounge area. I think Gagodo or I think Gagodo already talked to you about this. But I'm going to explain again just in case. First we're going to do a L check is to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll get you comping on this couch. After that, I'll use my pants and your arm to create a very tiny wound. And then I'll use a needle to draw the blood. It'll take about 10 minutes to draw the blood out. Mary, I'll stay here until we're done. What's one important thing? You can tell me to stop at any time at all. Doesn't matter when. If you want to stop, I'll stop. Does that sound okay? Yup. Yup. If you want me to stop, just press this button. It will give me a buzz. It will give me a buzz and I'll stop right away. If we're ready, we can start with the health check. Okay then. Okay, looks like you're in super good health. We're good to go. Are you okay with starting the blood donation? Okay, let's try it. Okay, yep, let's start. Okay, you just sit down on the couch then. Okay. Thank you. Now could you give me your arm? I'm just going to use some antiseptic on your skin. Sorry if it tingles. I'm going to use my pants to make just a pretty little bite. Let me know right away if it says nothing. Okay, the bite's done. Now I'm going to put in the needle. The needle will draw out the blood. You can let me know right away if you want me to stop. Say nothing. Okay, the needle's done too. Now we just have to wait for the blood to be drawn. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, but okay. It's I can do this one. Uh, that pretty much sums up how I'm feeling. What are you nervous about, Mary? Honestly, I'm nervous only that something would go wrong. It's our first time doing it for a human. We've done test tours with our vampires for practice, but it's not the same. I'm really happy our first human tourist was you though, Ren. Huh? Why? Because it seems like you really do want to learn more about vampires. Uh, why else would I have come here? Well, you'd be surprised. Then some people sign up for the tour with ob obviously pick info. You obviously turn them away, but... A lot of people aren't happy about a vampire blood clinic being in this part of the city. I bet you were a bit unnerved when you first heard about it too. I think I was a little. No, I wasn't. Okay, I won. Okay. What am I? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Sure, I was a bit surprised, but I think it's really cool that this place exists. Oh, that's really nice of you to say. You proved that their humans were okay with vampires. And I think there's a lot more out there. Sure, we received quite a handful of crests in the mail too, but. There's been a lot of people who just come by to take a look at the brochures too. How are you so triple about it? Well, we have to start somewhere, right? A couple of years back, we wouldn't have been able to open this place at all. Only but truly though, more humans are learning about vampires, and acceptance is spreading. Everyone has to start up somewhere, right? If someone is misinformed about vampires, we want to give them a chance to be informed. That's why you came here, right? Because you didn't know too much about vampires, but you wanted to know more. That's true. I'm just hoping I'll get to meet you, meet a lot more people like you, Ren. I hope you can too. Oh, that's cute, dude. Are we done now? And we're done. That's the end of the blood donation. What? Already? Yep, we're done. Finish. All clear. Here's some chocolate and juice for some energy. When you finish them, come to the front. Mary leaves the room. Oh, that wasn't really as bad as I thought it would be. 
I even got chocolate out of it. I guess I should eat this and then go to the front. Nice, 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 nice. When Ren goes, oh, so this is it. When Ren goes to the front of the cafe, Mary is already there waiting. Hi, Ren. Hi, Mary. Now that the blood donation is over, the turret is officially finished. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you for doing this tour. Thank you for doing this tour. I think I'll learn a lot. That's great. I'm really glad to think so. We're going to be doing a lot more activities in the future, so definitely come back again to see what we're, what we're up to. I will. There's a little tote bag with brochures and stuff. I think you'll find them pretty interesting. I'll make sure to check them out when I get home. Remember, you're a member of our tomato club now. You always be welcome, welcome here if you want to visit. I'll try to visit soon. I bet there's still a lot more I can learn. I'll make sure to have more stuff ready soon then. If there's anything in particular you'd like to learn about, just tell me. Uh, okay, I'll think about it and I'll let you know. Cool, we're gonna see me need. Thank you for playing! Yay, I thought there's a... Is that it? Yay! So that's gonna be it. Okay. That's gonna be it for us, guys. So, yeah. So, it kind of gave me like this odd, this good sense that once you got this like this random clinic or like this random place, you better sure to like go to like full explorer out of it. I guess that's what are my thoughts about the game is that you don't need to like be scary of the stuff that you don't operate into. That's why there's this people to be aware of that something. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, it's gonna be good to play this game, you know. It's gonna be give the sense that you need to know more something about this kind of people so that you need to experience them so that you might know them. It's actually okay, the vampire thing are just basically fictional, but it can be applied to like the other people. So, like in order to like know them more you need to experience what they have or like what they feel or something like that. For example, you know, it's actually kind of like a what you call that? A kind of like the lighter stop on like or like a broader stuff, or like the light stuff in more of a heavy topic that's been covered in this game. That's what I'm like been thinking. Maybe yeah. So I'm gonna go in this one again. So what I think this was actually I kinda like the vibe of it. The music was great, the aesthetics of the game, you know, it's kinda bit low comfy game. You know, you know this one's uh, like crayons and stuff. But yeah. What a game this was. It's kind of a bit cute though to play this kind of game. So I recommend you to play this one if you want some like comfy like one R games. I guess this was this was one R only. I mean I only created like two parts of this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go end this one again. It's a very nice actual to play this game. Like subscribe, all of those shits, comment on the notification bell, and thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Johnny Johnny Johnny.